Ether channels is important point for network engineers and in this video you will see how to configure Ether channel in Packet Tracer. As you know, there are two aggregation protocols for Ether channels. One of them is LACP and the other is Cisco specific PAGP. LACP is a general standard for Ether channel or maybe you can say LAC and it has two modes, active and passive. And the PAGP, the Cisco specific aggregation protocol. It has also two modes. Desirable and Auto. You will see both of these protocols in this configuration. Between Cisco products, you can use PAGP, but between multi-vendor products, it is better to use LACP. For our configuration example, we will use the topology on the screen, and as you can see, there are two switches on the screen, and there are four links. Three of these links are in blocking state, because of the spanning tree protocol. Let's check the spanning tree of these switches. For the second switch, you can see that all the ports are forwarding, but for the other switch, as you can see, there is a root roll and it's forwarding and the other ports are all blocking state. Now uh, let's configure our ether channel or lag and by doing this, uh, we'll aggregate all these uh, four ports into one port. We will also uh, do the same configuration on the second switch. Yes, it's OK now, and uh, let's verify our uh, ether channel. As you can see, there are uh, four uh, ports under uh, this ether channel. And uh, the protocol is LACP. Let's also uh, verify uh, on uh, switch 0. And uh, we can also uh, see the interface here. As you can see our port channel interface and our IP address and uh, let's ping the uh, other end as you can see our uh, ping is successful and uh, our uh, ether channel is uh, up and ok now uh, with LACP 
You can do uh, this uh, ether channel configuration with also uh, PAGP. Uh, let's configure uh, our uh, ether channel with the PAGP protocol. And it's now uh, rejected. So firstly, uh, we need to uh, delete the uh, LACP protocol. And now we can uh, configure our uh, protocol, uh, PAGP. I configured it with uh, desirable mode. And uh, let's change the other, uh, others, other switch uh, configuration. Yes, it is rejected too because uh, we need to uh, delete again the uh, previous protocol also uh, here. And uh, let's configure our uh, PAGP again uh, in uh, auto mode. And yes, it's okay. And uh, here there's an important point, uh, you need to reload your uh, router or uh, switch uh, to take effect uh, of uh, this protocol change. Uh, here uh, I did it also, and one more for you. And uh, you'll also reload this uh, router switch. And let's uh, verify our uh, inter channel configuration. As you can see, our uh, protocol is PAGP. And for summary, as you can see, our uh, port channel and uh, protocol and uh, uh, ports under this uh, port channel. And it is uh, in, in desirable mode. And uh, let's uh, verify uh, on the other uh, switch. It is uh, still uh, booting. And here uh, it is also with uh, PAGP protocol. And the mode is auto. In this video, we have learned how to configure LACP and PAGP ether channel lag in packet tracer.